the video in this video we are trying to plot the right noise margin for the SRAM cell so we have to break the feedback of the cross couple inverters so we can see that we have two separate inverters now so these are the two separate inverters we are applying a voltage V in at the input of both the inverters and we will sweep this V in for the DC simulation using cadence virtuoso so the right noise margin is measured using butterfly or VTC curves which are obtained from DC simulation by sweeping this input voltage and the output for these inverters is this is V1 and this is V2 so a higher, a higher right margin indicates better right stability so for analysis I have constructed the two diagrams here so this schematic uses transistors with low threshold voltage as you can see and this is the second schematic so this uses transistors with high threshold voltage so the both the circuits are exactly the same only the difference is that first schematic uses transistors with low threshold voltage and this uses transistors with high threshold voltage so now we will do the DC simulation so these are the uh, results for the DC simulation so uh, we have plotted V2 and V1 that is the output of the two inverters so V1 here is in green and V2 is in red so the right no the right noise margin is the side of the largest square that can be fitted in between the two curves so as you can see this is uh, how we will fit the square between the two curves and the length of this square represents the maximum allowable noise voltage that the cell can tolerate before flipping to the wrong state so i exported the dc curves for both lvt and hvt to a csv file for some python programming in google collab so this is how we will plot the exact same in google collab so this is for with low vt transistors and this is for high vt transistors i also found out the value of input voltage at which the v1 voltage drops to 90 percent of its vdd value so for for lvt that value is 0.456 volt and for HVT that value is 0.528 volt. Thank you.